Welcome back to the channel. So today we started off this video with a little bit of ripping in this 67 Chevrolet Camaro right here with the LT4 engine. Because as you guys seen in the previous video, we finally got this sucker driving for the very first time. And I gotta say, this thing absolutely rips. It is scary fast. And there's a lot of things that we're probably gonna change up in the future. But as of right now, dude, amazing progress has been made. And you know what? It just can't be sitting around, dude. Once we felt that power and just what this thing feels like, it's like a raw muscle car, dude. That's insane. We had to just start the morning off like dude, that. Dude, you gotta warm the car up before you start working on it, man. That's that thing just rips, dude. dude. Absolutely rips. But I gotta say, dude, there is not enough road over here, dude. We need a straight up airport for this thing, man. hundred percent, man. But, you know what? As of right now, what we're gonna do is probably continue with like the interior. Probably like throw in the rest of the seats. We got a speaker system that we can complete. There's so many interior parts to this thing, and there's so many different things that we could do. We could put together the front end, the rear end, because of course we got lighting dude we actually ordered some different lights so we might throw the ones on temporarily yeah. later on upgrade yeah we're you know upgrading I mean? we're going to have some nice led lights in the back and in the front that way it's nice and yes. bright at night and stuff like that and there's a few little motor stuff that we got to touch up here and there to, just to get it running optimal but that's part of these last few steps right here dude, dude. we made it a long ways dude and we're super excited and honestly dude i want to test this sucker out on the drag strip so we actually ordered a few upgraded things for the rear suspension i think we're going to do like a what is it called a four link yeah, four link back. coil over. That way we're not running leafs. That way we can lower it, get it yes. the stance right, and it'll handle a lot better. And also, we're gonna look for some drag slicks for sure. It Have needs to. it, dude. I'm telling you, it doesn't like put down that torque on the road. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for the drag strip, yeah, that'd be sick to get some drag strip uh, slicks. But those tires on the back right now, we dude. gotta we gotta slick them up muddy. right now, dude. We gotta, They're muddy tires right <laughs> yeah. there, dude. But anyways, right now, do you say we need to run into parents' house? And yeah, pick up we some need things? to run to the parents' house, run uh, a few parts over back over here because we still got a few things for this car yes. that we want to pick up like bumpers That's and spoilers right. and stuff like that a lot of stuff scattered all over the place so i say we go ahead head over there and come back over here and get some stuff done stuff done right now left dude. right first off look at this exhaust system that we dude, came up with imagine man. if that thing threw flames right there man that'd be insane no tail lights we don't need none of those when the when the when, when the, the flames, flames hit, hit the red break. light slows you down right there <laughs> but that's dude. just a joke right there but anyways this interior is coming together dude yes sir so we went ahead and just sprayed the parts that need to be black high gloss black we used just some rattle can we even picked up some uh rattle can that's a clear coat look at that 2k clear you pop this little bottom part and it mixes everything together first time using it 
We'll see how it's drying right now. It's drying like kind of really slow. It's still really tacky. So hopefully by tomorrow, it's nice and dry and we don't have to worry about anything. But as you can tell, it matches that other side right there. All that is high gloss black. And as you can tell by the original door over here. So this is the part that we painted black. That way we can have a black interior with the blue car because apparently I think they just spray inside and outside with these Camaros. Dude, dude. that is just super cool right there. And that's just going to look super good. Hopefully we can put this door together because I remember taking apart that one over there. Super complicated. Tough, dude. We'll figure it dude, out. The, now, like dude. the stuff to like uh, pick up and raise the uh, what's called the windows, like some kind of weird kind of like tricky stuff. <laughs> but that's all easy stuff compared to that motor right that's there. That's right, dude. About? And also, we sprayed a little bit Ooh. of matte finish on the dash that way it freshens it up looks brand new and stuff like that because the very next thing is the glass so we went to parents house picked up all of our glass our windshield our rear glass and everything else and our bumpers because i mean as soon as we get that interior knocked out in the glass we're, we're piecing this thing together everything dude, dude. and that done. interior is going to look super sweet and also it's going to feel super comfortable we got just couch cushions all the dude, way throughout i don't it, even dude. know man we haven't talked about that but those seats are probably the most comfortable seats that we own in any car i mean the rear seat is basically a sofa man at your grandma uh, grandma's house you know that sofa man that you just sink in that's what that is right dude, there. that's so. the one right there so the very next thing that we're gonna do i guess is go ahead and take care of this front glass right here and then we're gonna take care of a sound system in this yeah. sucker you think you think this thing should thump <laughs> You don't think so? What do you think? It needs it because as you can tell, somebody previously cut out the speaker holes right here. So we're just going to put the speakers back in, probably run to a local like speaker shop or something, buy some speakers, throw them in here. That way we can have something that looks good. And if we can wire that sucker up to sound good. Dude, dude. that'd be awesome, man. Throw like four subwoofers in this thing and have this thing the banging. Back, dude. I'm telling you, that dude. That rattles the glass quarter panel and all. That'd be <laughs> insane. But yeah, definitely going to have to hook something up because we're going to throw a radio in there as well. Yeah, we need for that. Sure. So. 100%. We got that big old hole right there that needs like a 10 inch TV screen, dude. But as of right now, what do you say, dude? Let's go ahead, clean up that windshield and uh, try to throw it in. So check this out, guys. The windshield is finally in. We got it taped up, and we got it pretty much um, the same diameter all the way around because, I mean, there's really nothing to go off of on this thing, so it's pretty difficult. But you know what? It's on there. It looks really good. But one thing we did notice once we threw this windshield on here is you can see all the windshield glue, and that just looks horrible, man. That is just the, the worst-looking thing ever, dude. Obnoxious, dude. I know, man. So we're thinking about actually popping this sucker off a little bit later and redoing it because usually windshields will have a 
painted black like uh, border border around the inside where the glue goes that way you can't see the glue this one didn't have it maybe because it's a cheap aftermarket windshield so we should have just painted a border on this we weren't thinking we we're just trying to knock it out you know what yeah, I mean? so that's probably what we're gonna end up doing there is a little bit of trim that covers up some of it but you know what windshield is the least of our worries dude, that's dude. the least of our worries it's in there and it's blocking all the bugs from flying in our eyes when we're gonna be ripping this thing <laughs> but after that what we did was actually research some radio shops and we were actually able to find a super cool like old school radio look like stereo, stereo shop, dude. dude it's crazy man very unique it's the only one around here and we were able to get some amazing prices and what did we pick up dude, actually, we picked dude? up a whole entire system right Ooh. here dude look at that we got a sub right here with 212s with everything you need to run that sub look at that an amp and all the good stuff and also look at this beautiful thing right here man that's gonna look sick if that fits in there dude we're that gonna look, make it fit dude, it's gonna be a nice little screen to control everything Whoa, that, look at that up rear view camera dude we got to put a little modern touch on this car that dude. is you know right I mean? that's dude. gonna be super sick super right epic there. right there and of course we got some uh speakers right there that's gonna go all the way across the top right there yep. four of them four of them and they're gonna have their own amp right here which i believe we're gonna run the rest of the speakers off of this thousand watt amp we got a couple speaker wires we got some door speakers right here we got some speaker like Wire. wires everywhere i mean we just got whatever we could i mean we never done this before it's gonna be our first time actually wiring up this uh, actual this whole entire speaker system from the ground up because this thing got nothing dude it doesn't but you know what i think it definitely deserves it it would be really cool to listen to the radio while you're cruising while around you're cruising around dude and you want a good sound system in a classic car but you know it's the best thing to do especially when it's a camaro you know exactly. what i mean exactly <laughs> but pop open that trunk let's yeah. show them what we did in here so Dang. we cleaned this sucker up so we got a battery train there after we uh cleaned this trunk up and did another coat of that like bed liner and stuff like that that way it's nice and durable i know it'd be nice to probably we put like a carpet back here or something like that which we'll probably look around and order something that will just go back here but for now it's nice and clean we got room to throw in our sub we got room to throw in our amps and all that good stuff and start just wiring things up dude
this sucker right here, man. Oh my goodness, that little sucker right there was just a nightmare to install. This took us all day to do. All dude. day. I mean, we did mention previously we are not good at electrical. This is one of those things, but you know what? After a bunch of owner's manuals and a bunch of other stuff, we figured it out, got the screen in here, and it took long because this is all custom fitted. Custom, dude. We had to design some stuff, had to pick out the right screws, and we got this sucker in here. Works with the shifter and everything. Almost looks like the original screen, screen from the, the ZL1. Yeah, yeah, from the ZL1, which is just super awesome. Just goes with the whole theme, dude. and just it looks amazing. Dude, that's dude. crazy how it just flows along with that center console. And look at this. We even threw those little vents or ducts, whatever yeah. you call those things, in They're there. They're not functional, but they look good. They clean all that up right there. We may end up trim, trimming some of this plastic up, but for the most part, it looks really good. Dude, dude. It looks super sweet. And the best part, it sounds absolutely insane. So we got it working, right? We got it working. It, it was a little confusing trying to plug up some stuff, but we got the amp on. We got the bass booster like connected, which uh, we're messing with this thing. It barely turns it up, but you turned it up back there, right? Yep. You turned it all the There's way. There's a screw back there, and I just turned that sucker as far as it would go. You completely backed it out, huh? Pretty much, yeah. So we got a nice uh, subwoofer right there, and then of course we got these four amazing quality uh, speakers right yes. there, dude. Well, they're actually kind of like subs. They got a little bit of, I think, tweakers on the inside of them, which it just sounds amazing. Dude. We didn't get to our door speakers because you got to put the whole door panel together, but dude, do you want, I'm gonna go ahead and just look at this. You turn the key, everything cuts on just the way it should. I mean, look at that, man. That is that just is amazing. Sweet. And that dude. sucker is touchscreen, right? Yeah, touchscreen. And all we got to do is just route the reverse camera and we're good. You know, There's I mean? a, you could also add an extra camera. So I think we're going to have a front and a rear camera, yeah, right? You can add front rear camera. That way you can pull up to the stuff and curbs and you ain't got to worry about it. So right here I'm connected and uh, you, you think we should just, pull, you sent me a song, right? Yeah, a non-copyrighted song. That way, you know, we don't have no issues. Does but they got bass? Tons of bass, dude. Let's hear it, man. Dude, this is about to be insane, dude. This is about to be wild. I might blow the glass out. Hey, that's what we got. That's why we don't have the rear one yet. Yeah. Turn it up. Is that bass booster all the way up? It's all the way up. I mean, it is loud in here, dude. Give me a screwdriver right it's, quick, It's dude. rattling the whole car around. I got something for it. We're going to try one more thing before we wrap this video up. So this is the screw right here. It's the, I think it's the, the gain right here. Watch this. All right, turn it up. quality so it just sounds like pure quality i mean that's all it is dude just sounds beautiful crisp the bass is just perfect it's not like super crazy obnoxious that we're we have to change our bolts on our rear deck lid which i kind of wanted that we'll later upgrade to a bigger amp and stuff like that if we need honestly yeah. dude it's just nice to have this as a cruiser yeah that way you can cruise around town and you can still be listening to music and everything sounds good you know sounds what I mean? good it's not like overwhelming it's just perfect beautiful crisp noise now dude. it looks like a new car dude we're almost done with the interior dude. dude yeah exactly dude we didn't get to that couch cushion in the back there and we didn't get to the rear glass because this took such a long time to do but it was worth it yeah dude. it was worth it we got our final like interior piece knocked out which final is final electrical dude. dude that's what takes all day of course we got to clean a little bit of it up how much did this whole entire setup cost us right here this dude? whole entire setup cost us a thousand dollars uh a thousand and ninety dollars yeah, right one thousand a hundred bucks it's yeah. not bad at all dude honestly because that sounds pretty sweet plus it came with a screen dude yeah. that is sweet apple car playing all uh, yeah so stuff. dude that's the perfect it's basically a brand new car on the inside but guys that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video i mean as you guys can tell it's getting a little dark and also it's getting super cold dude, dude we gotta we're gonna, get some more hoodies out we, here dude we have to man those sold out which huge shout out to everybody who copped you one man we're gonna have to get more we're trying i don't to, have any more i had to sell the one off my back that's dude. why you ain't got one but <laughs> dude we're getting some here soon hopefully so be on the lookout for that but i was just looking outside over 
here, dude. And everything on this parking lot right here is boosted, man. Everything, even that Cadillac parked out there, dude. Everything, man. That's all we do is boosted, boosted. stuff, man. Boosted. The Camaro's boosted. The Porsche's boosted. We got a couple the items that are not Can boosted. Can-Am boosted. Supra boosted. Kit car boosted. Trackhawk boosted. So the only thing you should be pointing out the stuff that's not boosted: the Viper, the 370, the S2000, and the GTM. We got to get rid of all that stuff or boost it. We got to boost it. We got to do that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's gonna be pretty much a wrap for today's video. Super happy with the amount of progress that we made on this. Although we wanted to make a lot more, but you know what? Here soon, this sucker is gonna be finished up. So definitely be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.